In this video, I'll be covering bent arm planche technique and showing some exercises to help you unlock it. The bent arm planche is a great intermediate static to master. Not only will it help with your straight arm planche, but it's important for the 90 degree and planche push-ups. It will also build strength transferable to the back lever. Like the straight arm planche, the bent arm variation predominantly works the shoulder flexes. The back and hip extensors also engage to keep the body in a straight line. Generally, when people talk about the bent arm planche, they're referring to the full or straddle positions. However, you can also use easier postures such as the tuck, but we'll need to elevate the hands. In the bent arm planche, we want the body to be in a straight, horizontal line and be level with or slightly above the hands. You can also hold higher and lower positions, though these tend to be more challenging. The bent arm planche is significantly easier than the straight arm variation. It's common to unlock the full posture with bent arms before you can even straddle with the arms straight. Prior to working on the skill, it helps to have a foundation of at least 20 push-ups with the elbows tucked and be comfortable with full reps of reverse hypers. Being able to do the elbow lever is also useful as it's a very similar skill with reduced strength demands. A key difference to the straight arm planche is the angle of shoulder flexion. With the arms bent, the shoulders are slightly extended rather than flexed in front of you. Due to this and being able to hold harder shapes, you may find the bent arm planche more stressful on the wrists. To help reduce this, turn the hands out to the sides or use parallettes. Angled parallettes can help further reduce stress as they'll keep the wrists closer to a neutral position. To do the bent arm planche, start with your hands shoulder width apart and lower to the bottom of a push up. Then walk your feet forward until you can lift them off the ground. Your hands will need to be roughly level with the hips to be able to do this. To reduce the difficulty, you can perform the skill with the legs straddled. Hugging your arms to your sides is also helpful as it will produce some friction. You can use this initially and reduce how much you do it as you build strength. Make sure you don't rest on your elbows as this will make the skill an elbow lever rather than a bent arm planche. If you can't get your feet off the ground with the legs straddled, you can build capacity with more compressed postures and use the following exercises. To do band assisted holds, anchor a band above you and place it in front of your hip bones. Then lower into the bent arm planche. During the hold, the band should be vertical rather than pulling you forward or back. As you get stronger, use thinner bands and work toward unassisted holds. This exercise is a variation of the pseudo planche push up. Rather than leaning forward the whole time, you'll shift your weight at the bottom of each rep. Start in a push-up position with your hands roughly shoulder width apart. Lower with your elbows in and walk forward as far as you can. Then reverse the motion to complete the push-up. The further you shift at the bottom, the harder the exercise will be. Aim to get your hands level with the hips and for an extra challenge, float your feet in the air briefly with each rep. Like standard push-ups, your body should stay in a rigid straight line throughout the movement. Whether you can't yet hold the tuck or can do the full bent arm planche, this exercise can be scaled to suit your level. Start with an L-sit hold before moving to the bent arm planche. Pause briefly, then return to the L-sit and repeat for reps. This can be done with any progression from tuck to full, and you can add longer pauses to increase the challenge. If you can't yet hold the tuck, you can do reps with feet assistance. Place your toes on the ground as you move to the tuck planche and be as light through them as possible. As you build strength, do the initial reps unsupported and use your feet for assistance to complete the set. These exercises can be done two to three times per week to help you unlock the bent arm planche. In addition, reverse hypers can help speed up gains in core strength and pushing exercises can be used to help with shoulder strength. For guided routines to help with this skill, check out the bent arm planche programs in the Baseblocks Plus app.